So, sound bugs. Sound bugs aren't that expensive, they're about £25 each. Uh, and what they do is they use a, a, a material called uh, Turfanol D. And Turfanol D is a, a giant magnetostrictive material. Uh, the way it works is when you send an AC current down it, it vibrates in time with the current. And they glue that onto a bit of window glass and they get their whispering windows solution. Now, um, if you don't want to spend 25 quid because you're a bit of a cheapskate like me, then you can make your own sound bug for about a pound or so. It's really very simple. And, and this is it. If you've seen previous videos, it's really just a development of those. And what this particular one is, is a little bit of soft iron, and this is a door handle. I have about a couple of hundred turns of wire around it, uh, and then there's a little bit of rubber there that's glued onto the door uh, handle, and um, a couple of magnets there, little one centimetre neo magnets. Then you get another little bit of rubber, stick it on there, and you're ready to go. Now, of course, it could be a bit better, this could be a little shorter, and that would help us with its stability, but it's ready to go now. And you stick that on the window, and input your music into here, and what will happen is the whole window will turn into a speaker. And here it is working. But if you listen out, you can hear it. And when you're actually in here, it sits quite loud. Uh, and when you go outside, um, you can hear it outside as well, interestingly enough. Um, the reason it's so quiet is I've got a tiny microphone on here, and you can see the, the audio quality. It's pretty poor. Uh, so it doesn't really pick it up very well. I guess I could put a microphone near to it. But um, it's certainly an, an interesting and amusing thing. So if you want to make your own sound book, there you go. That's it. Give it a go. Thank you for listening.